Live from the King 5 Studios, it's New Day Northwest with Amity and Treacy. <laughs> Y'all, please welcome Seattle chef and restaurateur Shona Nakajima. He is here with us today. We're so, so lucky to have you in studio. This guy's got nothing to prove besides opening several successful restaurants, including his latest, Taku, right? Did yes, I say that Taku. right? Taku. Okay. Chef Shoda has succeeded on Iron Chef, Top Chef, and even beat Bobby Flay. What? But now Shoda is joining 31 other chefs for season four of Guy Fieri's Tournament of Champions on Food Network. And since he has nothing else to do, right? Because you're <laughs> such a busy guy, uh, you are here cooking with us today. I'm so excited to see you. Oh, same, same. I know last time we saw each other was on Zoom. It was over Zoom. So I have never been able to cook with you in person, and I'm really excited to do it. So what are we making today, by the way? So we're making a uh, fried chicken from Taku. Uh, it's a great little snack that you can order while you watch uh, Tournaments of Champions on Sunday. That is right. Okay, so how do you get started with this? So this, uh, I kind of wanted to show a trick. So this one's already marinated and first fried. First fried? First fried. And the reason I do a double fry on chicken is okay. when you fry ingredients um, with the light batter, it's almost a steamed ingredient inside. So it's a steam cooking. Oh. Philosophy wise. Exactly. And when you let it rest, the moisture comes out. So once you pull that second moisture out and fry it again, it stays crispier for a longer period oh. of time. So if you have big parties and you're serving for like 50, 60 people, okay. it, and you're doing something fried, it's always smart to double fry something. So it, it gets, stays crispy, it doesn't get mushy. That is, I've never heard of double frying in all of my life. Double all right, fry. we're like, what, 30 seconds in and he's already <laughs> taught us something. All right, so we, we dip these in the fryer. So yeah, we dip these in fryer. These are uh, This fryer is already at a high temperature, so we're just gonna drop it in. And we're gonna do four at a time. Or You mentioned you marinated them first. What did you marinate them in? Uh, I marinated in koji and ginger. Um, Japanese fried chicken is usually marinated in um, soy sauce and okay. ginger and yeah. a few other things. Uh, but. I wanted to make sure that everyone, all my gluten-free friends Thank can you. eat it as well. Thank so you. this is made gluten-free. The starch on the outside is we use rice flour and tapioca starch, which holds that crisp really well as well. So That is amazing. So how long would you leave it in there to fry in the oil? Um, until it's golden brown, so I would say three, four minutes okay. um, or so. I guess I can just start dropping the other ones. Well, no, I mean, no pressure, no pressure. By the way, what kind of oil is this? You're just using vegetable oil? Uh, this one I use vegetable oil, okay. yeah. Um, right. At the restaurant, use vegetable oil or rice oil. Um, I like both. Veggie oil tends to be better for fried things is what I'm learning. About. Right, that makes sense, that makes sense. Um, you know, you're no stranger to cooking shows as you were a top chef, a finalist in top chef, no, no, less but tell me what tournament of champions was like well tournaments of champion it's extremely intense because yeah. each competition is a one-on-one -on -one. it's a bracket so it's not about being you know if you're on top chef if you're the bottom you yeah. go home but if 13 people survive <sighs> tournaments of champion <laughs> round one 16 people go home out of 32 ouch and it's it's all all these names that you would never imagine going home from really? round one. Uh, really? So that's just the thing, you know, like you'll see lineups. I forgot some of the round ones, but you'll see lineups where no one should be going home at all from round one. You're right. just like someone's still going home and that's the <gasps> that's the that's the intensity of tournaments of champions. So many familiar faces. Was it intense kind of cooking alongside these folks? I mean, just walking in the room was intense, right? Yeah. You walk in the room, there's 31 chefs that you've seen on TV, you've followed, they're incredible, yeah. you've copied, you've learned from, and you're like, oh, wow, I'm actually going to be going against all these people. <laughs> um, it was an incredibly, like, humbling, inspiring, um, anxiety-driven experience. <laughs> I, I love it. I think it's going to be so much fun for us to watch. That thing that people were going, what is that thing called, the randomizer? The randomizer. No one likes her. She's, what, you she's, named her? <laughs> I named her Rhonda. Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Oh, my gosh. So what does it do? So uh, it's it's this randomizer. You don't know what's on it exactly, but mm -hmm. sometimes it's protein, sometimes it's vegetables, um, and sometimes it's cooking equipment or whatnot. And once what it lands to, you have to cook, if that makes sense. Got it. Okay. So if it's like a pro, it's like a protein or a, a fish. Like it'll tell you kind of a random pairing of things, and you have to just make that all into one dish. Yeah. And what is the weirdest thing that you had to deal with? The weirdest thing I had to deal with. Was it like gelatin and beef? I don't know. 
Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> Ew, no. So, <laughs> oh, we can't avoid that one easily. <laughs> that is interesting. How do you how do you think of what to make so quickly? That's what I want to know. That's the hard part. You know, you yeah. have 30 minutes or 40 minutes to cook, and if it's a 30 minute challenge, mm -hmm. you have you're running through pantry. That's about five seven minutes of like thinking and putting things yeah, together. Yeah. Um, for plating, you have to leave five to six minutes. So, in reality, mm -hmm. you have 20 minutes to cook a dish. And if you make Jeez. one mistake, you don't really have time to go back and fix it. Yeah. So you're just going on the whim, if that makes sense. And that's the that's the hard part. That's the stressful part. Yeah. I I know that there are so many shows that are that are cooking related. Why do you think these are so popular? And and this championship show, I mean, it's really the best of the best, right? It is the best of the. You know, I think at the end of the day. Um, these competition shows are a lot of fun because it's it's fun, right? There's there's so and I don't know what it is about chefs, but at least the chefs I've been competing against, yeah, it's very intense. Yeah, everyone's extremely competitive, but yeah, yeah. unbelievably respectful to each other. That is so cool. Every single time I go into these competitions, I come back with more mentors and friends than I would expect to. See, I love that. I, they say that you don't go to a competition to make friends, but apparently in this case, you do. Also, I like making friends with a lot of people, so that <laughs> might be. <laughs> well, I think that you just have such a great spirit about you, so I am not surprised. How, is this almost ready to this eat? This is almost ready. We're going to start getting okay. with the plating process. So. Okay, what can I do? I will be your sous chef. Awesome. I love it. Well, I like to put a little veg vegetable underneath, so okay. do you mind putting just yeah. a little clump of that. cabbage? I can do that. You know, with fried chicken, you always want to put a little veggie so it justifies, you know, the fried chicken. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's seriously like, no worries. I mean, it may be fried, but here's a little bit of cabbage for you. Well, also in Japan, when you go to like a kushikatsu or a fried place, they usually have cabbage on the house where uh, they just okay. have raw cabbage because while eating fried food, eating cabbage helps the digestive system. I was going to say, it helps everything move around. I've always known that. So you can eat fried chicken and lose weight. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, right. So where is which restaurant is this from again? Taku. You this say? one is Taku. Okay. So these golden brown ones, we're gonna start taking out. Um, Taku, and then right now you can get the chicken at Taku, and also Kobo, which is a pizza shop I just opened oh, right what? next door. I know. Right, right next door. Right next door in the same building uh, inside a Red Hook Brewery. So. Okay, we are actually talking about Kobo a little bit later because we want you to settle some pizza. Yes. Myths. Yes, love it. But. Before we to stop talking about this, what is kind of the um, the vibe or the concept of, of Taku? Vibe and the concept, Taku comes from the word shokutaku, mm -hmm. which means a dining room table at my house. And why I put it that way is, you know, I just wanted a good chill spot where people yeah. can feel comfortable and safe and eat some delicious food. I love that. Feel at home, yeah. comfort food. Um, I want to eat this all day. And this is one of our favorite, our classic seasonings that everyone loves. Uh, we get bonito flakes and we cook it down with a bunch of soy sauce and sake uh, and mirin. And we're just gonna plate that like. Is it that. spicy? It's not spicy at all. Okay. Um, this dipping sauce is lightly spicy, but this one's not that spicy. That one's not spicy? Yeah. Okay. Um, and voila, oh, I need to put the lemon on. Oh, put the lemon on. <laughs> these are your sauces that you sell, right? Yes, these are sauces that I sell that actually just went online again. On uh, You can get them on makeumami.com. Yeah. Um, and I added this like little fun QR code on the back right here. Um, That's cute. Yeah, right here. Here, yeah, I you added can turn this right QR there. There you code. Go. Yeah. So if you uh, if you link it on your phone, it goes to my YouTube link where you can learn teriyaki recipes. Oh, I love that. And who's this cute puppy dog on the front? That is Dodger. Uh, Dodger, my border collie, my homie, my friend. Oh. <laughs> the one who keeps me humble and the actual general manager of the restaurant. Oh, the actual general manager. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, can I try this? Please, please do. All right, I'm going to try this because it looks so good. Oh, wait, I forgot to put my uh, lemon on it. This is actually, I mean, for fried chicken, I mean, this looks so fresh. Right? Here we go. Mm. So that's the dry version. Crunchy, juicy, delicious. That is so good. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Breakfast mm. of champions, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm like, it's a thing. I'm like, I should have brought some of the some eggs or something with it too. Oh my gosh. Or maybe waffles. You know what I like about this? Is that it's not like anything you really have tasted before. Yeah. But it's got it's all the things you want: the savory, the comfort, the deliciousness. By the way, before I go on. Remind people where Taku is. Oh, Taku is on Capitol Hill, right on uh, Pine Street, and it's pretty much a block down from uh, Pike and Broadway. 
Okay. Or sorry, it's on Pike Street. On Pike the Street. Worst. Yeah, I had okay. a restaurant on Pike Street for like five years so, or six years. It's so. okay. You know what? You're a busy guy. You've got a lot of things going. There's a lot of things in the fire in the frying pan right now. Um, and this is our other one that's really uh, famous or everyone loves, and this is the teriyaki wet version. So okay. it's just pretty much tossed in our teriyaki sauce. Okay. All right. Well, let me try that one too because I got to. All right. I'll try to do a little bite so I can continue talking to you, nice folks. Or oh. we can just sit down and eat. I can grab some coffee. What do you What do you like to drink <laughs> with your breakfast? Coffee. <laughs> coffee. All right. I'll oh my God. This. Okay. That. It's nice, right? It's savory. It's delicious. That is out of this world. Oh, I want to buy some of this. See, right there Please you go. Do. This is what you're going to need for your house. It's got a lot of like ginger, umami, and compared to regular teriyaki sauce, it has a bunch of like acid and it has that pop to it, so it makes it a little different. Shoda, thank you so much. Thank Don't you. go anywhere, actually. By the way, you can see Shoda compete in Tournament of Champions on the Food Network. We've got all the details on our website, and Shoda is sticking around later in the show because we're going to talk about uh, the, the pizza place and um, his late night snacking habits as well. Find out about that. All right, we are very proud of one of our 